More than 20% of the value of each car already comes from embedded electronics. In the future, the demand for electronic components will even increase. The new technology will need to operate in the harshest conditions, including high temperatures and strong currents. Once developed, the benefits will be reduced fuel consumption and CO2 emissions, as well as lower production costs for automotive components. Low-cost electronic components that have space for additional functionality will require technology that can further integrate components, such as low and high voltage devices and memory on a single system-on-chip (SOC). A successful project which provides such a solution is Athenis. The Athenis project was conducted under the leadership of Austria Microsystems as part of the European Commission's seventh framework program. The aim of the project was to develop the first automotive system on chip SOC technology platform, which supports the combination of the harshest conditions known in the automotive industry. Austria Microsystem, based in Austria, is a global leader in the design and manufacture of high-performance analog ICs, integrated circuits, and develops and produces industry-leading analog semiconductors, including high-performance standard products and customized solutions. The automobile market. We feel currently that the automotive market has three major directions. Firstly, the direction towards increased safety. The second major area is the environmentally friendly issue of reduced fuel consumption. The third major area is that of infotainment. One easily crosses former mechanical barriers using modern electronic solutions. The automotive industry now has a much greater electronic capacity and the market is constantly climbing. Semiconductors are the key element in the development of modern electronics. The importance of electronic components is increasing, but at present there are no cost-effective technologies that are robust enough for full system-on-chip integration of powertrain integrated circuits for engines, starters and alternators. It's a barrier that inhibits cost reduction and the introduction of more fuel-efficient cars. The purpose of Athenis, Automotive Tested High Voltage Embedded Non-Volatile Memory Integrated SOC, is to provide proof of concept for the industry's first SOC technology platform that can surmount these integration barriers. Athenis is an EU-funded project, bringing together eight high-caliber partners from across Europe to develop and test the new technology. EU-funded projects such as Athenis are an important part of the Austrian Microsystems development strategy. In this way, we can cooperate with our customers, with our research partners and with our suppliers along the value chain and thus drive innovation that is based both on leading edge research but more importantly also on market relevance. Thus, we can also make a contribution to the Growth and Jobs Initiative of the European Commission. In the Athenis project, leading experts in the field of European microchip business are working together to provide a solution for the future. The individual components and the combined systems are tested for reliability and precision by a number of research partners, including the Fraunhofer Institute Germany, Technical University Vienna, the University of Ferrara, Italy, Marza Engineering in the Netherlands, and the Bruno Kessler Foundation, Italy. An important step in microchip development is the use of technology computer edit design, and one can save up to 30% of development costs and time. The challenging aspect of the Athenis project for the Fraunhofer Institute was the development and implementation of functioning models. To develop new and improved construction elements, and at the beginning of the project, this wasn't the case. So, the point is, by employing TCAD, Development costs and time can be reduced by a third. And if one looks at such costs, the savings are considerable. The Athenis project provides enormous development cost reduction potential for the European automotive industry. And the results open the floodgates to more CO2 reduction. Through the application of such new developments, we have more control over both alternator and engine. 
and this also enables a significant reduction of CO2 emissions. We are one of the world's top-ranking independent automotive suppliers and are responsible for the implementation of this new component. Through the close work between Valio and our project partners, we were able to achieve quick and remarkable results. The results so far are impressive. The consortium has managed to produce a demonstration model of an alternator with fully incorporated system on chip, SOC. With the integration of non-volatile memories into the high voltage technology, flexible programmable solutions for automotive applications could be achieved. The realization of the project is based on a so-called CMOS technology. The CMOS technology High voltage functions integrated on CMOS process technology enable the manufacture of cost-effective chips, especially encompassing the exploration of high temperature usage. It should function in temperatures of up to 200 degrees, carry 10 amp currents, and despite all this, allow for applied logic. Also, 8,000 volt ESD protection must be available. The appropriate circuit components for the effective expansion of high voltage utilization of 120 volts and currents of 10 amps the aims of this project have been successfully realized and tested. With these latest successes, the Afinis technology platform is expected to enable many other IC products to benefit from cost reduction, enhanced reliability and energy efficiency. In time, this will mean more efficient cars at lower prices that are better for the environment.